Steph Curry is the greatest shooter God has ever created. Mm -hmm. Again, here's Curry for the record. It's good! Door to great defender at three. Curry sidestep, Curry drive, Curry flip. Curry good! With two tenths again! When he get out of his car, you better guard him right from the moment he pulls up to the arena. We've never seen that before. Deli almost died guarding <laughs> Steph Curry. He's a killer. Since his debut in 2009, Curry has been a nightmare for anyone tasked with the unenviable job of guarding him. But here's the kicker. He's 35 years old with over a decade and a half of professional basketball under his belt. Yet, he's showing no signs of slowing down. Think about it. At an age where most players are either retired, riding the bench, or reminiscing about their glory days, Curry is out there, still making defenders look silly and dropping buckets. But why is it so difficult to stop him, especially at this stage in his career? You see, it's not just about the points he scores or the records he shatters. It's about the way he revolutionizes the game, pushing the boundaries of what's possible on the court. So, as we delve into the enigma that is Stephen Curry at 35, we'll hear from NBA legends themselves, those who've tried and failed to contain the Curry phenomenon. From the hardwood to the stat sheet, we'll unravel the mysteries behind what makes guarding Curry at 35 such a tough task. Welcome to the Steph Curry Experience. Some players, even you can know every single one of their moves. Like there's defensive players who study their their guy to a T. Like PJ Tucker is one of those guys. He said he studied, you know, KD every move he wants to do, every counter, whatever. You still can't do anything about it because it's in the course of a flow of the game. So like I know, like we all know what Steph is trying to do. He's trying to pass it. When he gives the ball up, he's trying to come off of staggers or whatever. But in the course of a game, man, it's, it's going to happen. There's going to be mess. Like, he's going to get his 35. <laughs> and it's just, you know, trying to make it as tough as possible. I think what makes Steph so hard is, I don't know if we've ever, the game has ever seen anybody who, who can move off the ball like this. I mean, you know from playing in the league, like, his conditioning is unbelievable. It's almost like when he gets rid of the ball, he's like a bigger threat, which isn't the case for a lot of people. It's the case for a lot of, you know, yourself, Duncan, shooters like that. But when you, you know, Steph's got a little bit more of a handle than, than, than you guys. So that makes him tough, tough as well. But I would definitely say uh, he's got to be 1A. Just watching him, especially like the Clippers games, like I didn't see him stop moving throughout that whole game. It was like when he was passing, he was always moving, setting screens, getting someone else open. They were getting layups and, and and he was just getting wide open threes. I'm like, man, like, I don't know how what I'm going to do. The dude's a menace. It's just, he's impossible. It's it, especially the way that they run their offense and the way that him and Draymond have this like telepathy. They're, they're actually understanding how to play with him now, like how he operates, how he moves when he gives up the ball and like continues to just run in circles until you fall asleep. And then he's even then like, shoots it from 30 feet basically it's it's borderline at times it's unguardable you know because it's like what do you what do you want to do you watched you saw the highlights against the the hawks right 50 50 burger Dude, like there was one possession i can't remember where it was i don't even know who's guarding him steph catches it on the right wing bottom of the tv screen he's like shimmy shimmy and the guy that's guarding him is shimmying in unison with him like perfect defense and then Steph just takes one dribble sidestep throws it up and goes in I'm like I mean yeah, like aim down the ball we go into the next play like you can't do anything about it it's crazy you know you really got to get your rest um you got to be well conditioned because he's going to make you pay if you're not and uh we all see what he can do and if you're not ready for it he'll chew you up and spit you out so um you know you got to be ready you got to be ready for anything you got to be ready for anything that they throw at you um at any given time you know because when you fall asleep or you think that he's not done and that he's done moving or the plays are for him and that's when he's gone so um you really got to be on your p's and q's with him and if you're not then you're in trouble who's the most difficult player to guard it probably is steph you know just because of the way he he affects the game you know he can score on every level um on the court and uh in some levels that we didn't even know existed so um he definitely poses a challenge for that that um most teams don't you know the way that like i said he spaces the floor he makes his teammates better and he makes the right play every single time and uh and if 
if you're not ready and you're not down and you don't got your matchups ready, it's, it's going to be trouble for you. And, um, you know, you got a player like that. It takes a full team effort. And that's what we're just trying to be doing every night. I'm like, bro, I said I'm a lockdown Steph. Yeah. Like, I got Steph. Like, okay. I'm locked in, right? <laughs> and I'm going to force him in the uh, layups. Run like, him off I'm, the three. He's going to have to beat me every time. No threes. Bro, I couldn't stop <laughs> none of it. Ass, I couldn't stop none of <laughs> it. The level of intensity was just It's up. just his shot making, bro. Dude, he yeah, it's good defense. On, it's good defense on anybody else. It's, it's just his shot making. I hear. I hear, I hear he goes hard on practice. Like, I hear his nope. game. His practice shots is like, is the game. Like, he treats it like the game. He's the chirp that make you, like, think. His shit talking is th what he does to the crowd. Like, he'll hit a shot and then he'll turn around and look at the crowd and be like, I'm him. Or like, yeah, he, he won't necessarily say something to you. And if he does, it's like a quick, like, jab. You know what I mean? If any any little space that he got is going up, and it's a bucket, yeah, it's a bucket, and it's like so you really quick. Can't give him no. Air. You can't give him no air. No, air. no air. Like That's die. why I told you, bro. I'm, I'm gonna smother him <laughs> when we like, play. Bro, I'm gonna smother him. I'm running him off and the I, line. I, I, it's my I, matchup tonight. I like I got this. Trying. Give me the love for trying. I, I, I try. Chasing him over screens and having him give it up and still chasing and he did that the whole series and and it kind of. I open my eyes to like I need to work on things that I need to work on to, to have that level of consistency as well. I mean, it's just 48 minutes of where is Steph? Like <laughs> <laughs> you got to know where he is at all times and uh, just trying to find him on the court, um, make his life difficult. And so um, it's just that mental strain of where is he on the court? I mean, obviously the way their offense is and, and the way he impacts the offense, like he has so much gravity that it kind of opens up everything, other things for everybody else too. So uh, just find Steph. Um, is he coming off a screen? Does he have the ball? Does he not have the ball? Um, you just it's constant of paranoia, I guess, for lack of a better word, of like trying to limit him. Is trying to find a find a way to slow him down. Best shooter the game has ever seen. Uh, can shoot it from anywhere, um, off the dribble, off the catch. So. That's just what makes him him different than than any person this game has ever seen. Going head to head with Steph, what was that like? It's uh, it's honestly hell. <laughs> 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 but just the way he moves without the ball, the way I mean, it's honestly their system too. Uh, it fits him to perfection. You literally can't ever relax. And I remember game one and two, uh, chasing him and Clay around, and I couldn't make a shot. Everybody's looking at me like, why can't right? you make a shot? I'm like, I ain't got no legs. Um, but yeah, no, his, uh, you know, his approach to the game too is, is special. Just the way that he, you know, sees the game and the way he goes about the game. Um, it was a lot of fun to play them. Obviously, happy we won. Nah, he's uh, it's hell to guard him. How are you supposed to defend that? Yeah, man, I don't know. Yeah, I can't, I can't tell you that, bro. <laughs> like this guy is like, I mean, most of the time, it feels like he's just like throwing that thing up. Like it goes in every time. Like he's just so incredible, you know. Like and 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 I think one of the things that we always done is like, yo, like we we gonna try to take the, the best player out. Like that's sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But um, especially with a guy as 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 you know incredible as Curry, that's what you have to do. You have to like you, there's, there's no. You can I, I can't just watch him just come off screens and, and shoot from like half court knowing that he's going in and still let him do it, you know what I mean? Like and, and I know sometimes like, oh yeah, you think he's flawed, but like bro, this but this guy's like a layup. So it's like you, you have to take away um what he does best. For me it's like I think yeah. I'd rather watch I don't know, like the third best player or the fourth best player on that team score than like seeing the best player just get whatever they, they, they want. Steph like level of conditioning is crazy. Cause I think for me, just watching them, like he he gives up the ball and he always moving, like he like just running and and he can still run that fast and trying to get open, and once he catches it, like he can still make it like it was a layup, you know? Like I think for me, that's like because again, if it was just somebody that that when he gives the ball up and he could you can kind of like be there and he's gonna like just stay there a little bit and kind of like give up, he keeps moving the whole possession here to here. And still have the level, like, like you know, focus to like make the shot every time, and and obviously like those guys finding them is it, incredible. But but yeah, like they, Steph, I think Steph just you know, yeah, his his 
I don't know. I think his condition. I think it's, it's underrated because the way he runs everywhere to get open every night is crazy. You know, something about Steph. He moved well without the ball, off the ball, and they know they know when to find him. And it's like anytime he get it, he look at the rim. You might jump because shooting it from the parking lot. So you gotta like get up on him, look at the basket, like oh shit. Delhi almost died guarding <laughs> Steph Curry. No, literally almost died. If you, if we we have footage of this man in the ice tub, like literally to his neck, trying to guard this man. How exhausted are you after doing that on both ends? Did, of the did y'all see that clip with J.R. Smith? You know, talking about Delhi. Did y'all see that clip? That's just real. <laughs> it's, it's it's real. Um, I mean, uh, obviously, you know, I I didn't guard Steph the entire game, but like most of the first quarter, most of the fourth quarter, I guarded him. Uh, yeah, that's that clip is real. Just trying to be as disruptive as possible while guarding, if not the best player in the world, uh, the best player to ever, you know, jump shot wise, shoot a basketball, not just off the catch, but off the dribble. The guy's probably one of the craftiest players to ever touch the ball. Um, just to be able to just try to be disruptive for me, I think is um, is the biggest step. And I think that's kind of something that I'm, I don't. I don't care to prove to anybody else, but I want to prove to myself that that I can go out there and just try to hound, you know, some of the best guards in the league. Steph Curry is the one that yeah. I want to play with for sure in today's game. When he get out of his car, you better guard him right from the moment he pulls up to the arena. As soon as he get out of his car, you better oh, guard him. Oh, sorry, guard him. Yeah, better guard him. In the car. You, might, you might want to get. You might want to guard him when he get out of the bed. The parking deck. Swear oh, to God. Steve Kerr. Now, if there's anyone who knows a thing or two about greatness, it's this guy, Steve Kerr. The Warriors coach is in awe. He has seen Curry's evolution and he's not holding back. Kerr said, it's amazing to watch him. He looks better than ever at 35. There's a reason he is Steph Curry. But the praise doesn't stop there. Kerr speaking on Sirius XM NBA radio dished out more gems. He's not just acknowledging Curry's talents, he's tipping his hat to the impact Curry has etched into the Warriors legacy. He said, Kerr's admiration for Steph Curry is well-founded, given the remarkable achievements and contributions Curry has made to the Warriors franchise. He recognizes the significance of Curry's impact on and off the court, acknowledging the unparalleled skill set and leadership that the two-time MVP brings to the team. Draymond Green Let's hear from Curry's partner in crime, the defensive juggernaut himself, Draymond Green. These two have been through it all together, racking up those NBA titles. Green's admiration for Curry is as clear. He stated, People have taken for granted what that age means in the NBA, especially a guard Curry's size. You've seen players a little bigger go longer, but not at his size. I think it is so special and impressive what he is doing. The attention to detail, to what he is doing on a daily basis, puts him in a position to be as great as it is. It is the most incredible thing to me. To just watch him at that size dominate at this age, we've never seen anything like this. Shaquille O'Neal Now, when a giant like Shaquille O'Neal starts pondering if Steph Curry deserves the title of greatest player of all time, you know something extraordinary is happening. With two MVPs, four titles, and still draining threes like it's nothing at the age of 35, Shaq's got his mind blown. He's wondering out loud, is it time to start putting him as the best player of all time? O'Neal said, I played 20 years, watched 20 years before that, I've never seen a guy like him, and he's doing it consistently, and he has championships. Is it time to just put him in the conversation as one of the best players ever? Paul George Before facing off against the Golden State Warriors, Paul George had a foolproof plan to shut down the chef. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. Curry dropped a cool 50 points, leaving Paul George scratching his head and admitting defeat. George talked about his failed strategy, saying, I didn't do none of that. I'm going to force him into layups. He's going to have to beat me every time. No threes. All that went out the window. Bro, I couldn't stop none of it. I couldn't stop none of it. Mike Brown According to Sacramento Kings coach Mike Brown, guarding Curry is a team effort. The Kings know firsthand the uphill battle they face whenever they square off against the Warriors. Brown broke it down, saying, He's a guy that, if you show him the same thing over and over again, he can kill you. Even if you change it up, he can kill you. He's a tough cover for anybody. It's a sobering reminder of Curry's unrivaled skill set and his ability to dismantle even the most well-crafted defensive schemes. Clay Thompson Curry's splash brother also added in with some high praise. According to Clay, Curry is one of the hardest workers in the game, and he might just redefine what it means to be elite well into your 40s. 
Clay drops some knowledge, stating he is one of the hardest workers to play the game. The sky is the limit. He might change the narrative of what it looks like to be elite till you're 40. LeBron is doing the same thing, and Steph is following suit. LeBron James On an episode of HBO's show The Shop, LeBron was put on the hot seat. The million-dollar question, who would LeBron want to play with him? His answer? No hesitation, no contemplation. His son, Bronny, and the one and only Steph Curry. James said, Steph Curry. Yeah, Steph Curry's the one I want to play with for sure in today's game. And LeBron doesn't just want to play alongside Curry. He showered him with high praise. The Lakers kingpin stated, I love everything about that guy. Lethal. When he gets out of his car, you better guard him right from the moment he pulls up to the arena. Right as soon as he gets out of his car, you better guard him. You might want to guard him when he gets out of the bed. Aside from being the greatest shooter in NBA history, this guy routinely draws double and triple teams the moment he crosses half court. It's like a magnet for defenders, and the Golden State Warriors thrive on the chaos he creates. They turn those situations into a 4-on-3 advantage. It's a nightmare for opposing teams. C.J. McCollum New Orleans Pelican C.J. McCollum is no stranger to facing Curry. He faced off against him numerous times during his tenure with the Portland Trailblazers. McCollum knows firsthand the hard task of trying to contain Curry. In his own words, it's very tough. You have to throw different bodies at him. This isn't a guy you can just guard with one person. He's a galaxy. He's a planet. He's a solar system. Everything revolves around him. Kevin Durant And speaking of dominance, who better to weigh in than Kevin Durant himself? Fresh off a thrilling win by the Warriors against the Suns, KD didn't mince words when describing Curry's greatness. To Durant, Curry isn't just an all-time great, he's the greatest ever at his position, a top five player in NBA history. High praise, indeed, coming from one of the game's most elite talents. Durant's admiration for Curry's game is rooted in undeniable truth, recognizing Curry's unrivaled shooting prowess and his transformative impact on the sport. Curry's shooting prowess has redefined the very essence of the sport, earning him the title of the greatest shooter of all time. But it's not just about the shots he makes, it's about the way he inspires his teammates and elevates their performance to new heights. Scottie Pippen Scottie Pippen, a legend in his own right, knows a thing or two about greatness. Pippen's accolades speak volumes, but even he is in awe of Curry's unparalleled skill set. Curry's resume speaks for itself, but Pippen takes it a step further, declaring Curry a once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon. Pippen stated, I think this is truly a one-off. Unless he can force his son to go after his records, no one is ever going to have the DNA to even think about trying to capture this. It's amazing. You look at how this kid shoots the ball from behind the three-point line, he shoots it like it's a layup. There's no restriction. He's been a game-changer. Austin Reeves Austin Reeves once found himself in the unenviable position of defending Curry during the NBA playoffs. Reeves pulls no punches describing the experience. He stated, it's honestly hell, to be honest, but just the way he moves without the ball, I mean, it's honestly their system too, it fits him to perfection. You literally can't relax, and I remember game one and two chasing him and Clay around and I couldn't make a shot. Everyone's looking at me like, why can't you make a shot? I'm like, I ain't got no legs. Jason Tatum Tatum, another young talent with a keen eye for the game, shared his insights on the Curry conundrum. Tatum stated, you know, something about Steph. He moves well without the ball, and they know when to find him. And it's like any time he gets it, he looks at the rim, shooting it from the parking lot. So you gotta, like, get up on him. Tatum's reflections offer a glimpse into the grueling reality of facing Curry in the heat of competition, where every possession is a battle for supremacy.